Hi, my name is Jessica and I'm going to give you a walkthrough of our 2021 Keystone Outback Ultralight 291 UVH. In this video, I'm going to try to show you every single thing and feature of this camper that I could think of. This floor plan features a spacious front bedroom with a big attached pass-through bathroom, two large rear bunks that have their own door, and a huge pantry. It's probably the biggest pantry they've ever put in an RV. Before I get started with the walkthrough, I want to go over some of the top specific reasons why we love this model. Reason number one, it's actually not the big pantry. It's this big bathroom. Not only is the shower a great size, but more importantly for me, is it has all this counter space. Unlike most camper bathrooms, which have virtually none, this one's got plenty of room for me to easily do my hair and makeup. That was pretty high on my list and one of the main reasons we decided to go with an Outback. And because it has such a wide counter, it also has a wide medicine cabinet as well as two good sized cabinets underneath. So there's plenty of room in this bathroom for whatever toiletries you want to have in your camper. In addition to that, the layout is ideal because it gives you so much more space. You can easily get out of the shower, towel off, you've got room to do that, you've got room to change clothes in here, and of course you've got room to do your hair and makeup. Unlike most camper bathrooms where you don't even have enough elbow space to draw off when you get out of the shower, there's not enough room to change clothes, much less enough room to do your hair and makeup. Imagine trying to this in a space this big that is no good. Another great thing about this floor plan is that the bathroom is very conveniently attached to the bedroom. Unlike a lot of campers we looked at where it's in the rear, so say everybody's asleep at night and you've got to go to the bathroom, you've got to tiptoe around everybody who might be sleeping in your living room or who is connected right next to your bathroom, you're probably going to wake them up. We looked at a bullet model that had this dinette over there and the sleeper sofa where this dinette is, but the kitchen island was in the same spot. So when the sleeper sofa was open, it came all the way down to the end of the island. There was nowhere to walk through. So if that sleeper sofa was out and people were asleep on it and you had to get up in the night to use the bathroom, that meant you were going to crawl over them and wake them up, obviously, to get to the bathroom. Now imagine if you're somebody kind of like me and you have to go sometimes several times a night, that would be a nightmare. Um, so I'm really a fan of this. You've got doors on both sides. So with the air conditioner, you really can't hear the toilet flush like you think you might so it has worked out great it is seemingly little things like that that can make a big big difference in how much you enjoy your camping experience so if you're shopping for campers keep that sort of thing in mind the number two reason we love this floor plan is because you get an actual bunk room without having the added weight length and expense of a room with a slide you got a sliding barn door that dampening a lot of the sound rather than just a little bitty curtain. And you get two nice width bunks rather than just the little narrow bunks that you just have room. Those remind me of a coffin. I wouldn't be able to stand that. These are kind of in between the width of a regular bed twin or full. Each level has got its own window. The window on the bottom is a little bit bigger than the window on the top. Each level has two USB ports, which is great. Um, if your kids are like my daughter and my nieces, they'll be in there most of the time on their phones. I know, it's terrible. On the bottom bunk, there's a nice little cubby, like a, like a nightstand. Um, up here, you've got really deep cabinets. It goes all the way to the back. Um, the two levels this is a lot of great storage down beneath the bunks you've got two nice size drawers so this camper is loaded with good usable storage um, you've got a ladder 
to get to the box. It's basically useless. Um, it's all the way over here, but you're trying to get up here. So unless your kids are small or like quite adept, they might have a hard time. My daughter has, just skips it and climbs up and down and jumps up and down or jumps down. Oh, what else? But they still can't sit up to hang out in there. My daughter likes to hang out in there, so she's forced to lay down to do so. When we first found this one, the plan was to take this bunk either out all together or out and to replace it back up here to leave like storage up here where it was almost like she had a regular bed down here. We found out when we were buying this that that was going to void the warranty. Um, and then she decided that she liked both bunks. So, go figure. The advantage to having two full-size bunks is all the storage that this top one gives us. If my daughter decides she wants to be on the bottom, if she decides she wants to be on the top, then we've got all this, even more storage, on the bottom. Uh, we went on a trip out west last fall and she opted not to go with us. So, this bottom bunk we had a snack toad and my suitcase and a shoe bag. I take that back. I had the suitcase suitcase set up on the floor and I used this bar up here that I added. That's a towel bar um, to hang clothes on. And this became my closet since we don't have very big closets in the bedroom. Um, and since I could just close this door and my fiance wasn't bothered by my mess. So in the meantime, we use it for extra blankets and everything, which you can kind of already see and you'll see in a bit when I show you what these look like. Um, but yeah, this is super handy. So even if you don't have any kids, this would be really handy to turn into storage. You can just take these out. They're not attached and then it would just be wood underneath. Reason number three is actually still not the pantry. To our surprise, it's this dinette. Now, like pretty much probably every camper, the dinette converts to a sleeper. So, that's what we do. We keep it converted to a sleeper most of the time um, and use it as a big day bed. Now, as you can see, here's one of the cons. It catches on the cushions of the sofa that's okay. Give it a little push and there it goes. So easy to do. So what we ended up doing was keeping the comforter that came on the bed in the bedroom on here to kind of protect all this from our husky's claws. And she sleeps on here at night instead of trying to sleep with us like she does at home. Um, and then Alan discovered that he liked sitting over here with her more than he liked sitting over there with me in the recliners. Um, so that's okay because we can actually all fit over here. Um, one of our stays at the lake, my mom came and visited and because of this area, she and my daughter got to cuddle while we all watched a movie. It was really nice. So we figured out that we actually prefer to keep it like this most of the time because we end up using it like this so much as the day bed. Um, but also because when you're traveling and the slide is in, it's gonna come all the way to the end of this island. Um, and having it like this versus the dinette allows you to crawl over it if you wanna to get to the refrigerator or the pantry or anything like that. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to make it to that side past the island. Um, let me show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like most of the time when we're camping. Um, we bought that body pillow just at Walmart on our trip out west. Ideally, we'd need two more that match, which you probably can't buy now, but that works really well. Um, if you had another one over here and then one back here, 
that'd be quite nice. Um, you can always just do what we do and steal pillows from the beds for when we're trying to get comfy over here. Another good thing about this is when you're traveling, you can set stuff up here uh, and it won't slide around, at least not much. Of course, that depends on what you put up here, but we can put our snack tote up here, oh, a couple of different things. They don't really move. Um, this comforter is what comes with this model, at least the 2021 did, um, for the master bedroom. And we do not like it. It's rough and uncomfortable. It feels more like couch material or something. So we repurposed it for this and it works quite well for it. And because it's kind of rough, it's not slick, things don't slide around so much. Um, you may have noticed a minute ago that this looks different than this. This is what your dinette is going to come looking like. This is a cover I bought on Amazon. Um, I think it was a two pack. I don't know. Um, that's just to protect all the furniture from our husky's feet when she climbs up here so when that when it is in dinette set up she gets up into one of the booths it's not going to scratch it um we've done the same thing on the living room furniture let's see if i can show you that it doesn't look awesome but it doesn't look as bad as scratched up vinyl either So I'll talk more about this stuff in our video where we go over all the modifications and things we've had to do to this model. There are things that we've had to do to this model. Um, things I recommend that you do too. And then other things we did just for us. We're gonna do at least one, maybe we'll have to split it up into two or three videos, I'm not really sure, um, that will be dropping next. So in other words, if you've just bought this camper or are considering buying this camper, which is what I assume if you're watching this video, uh, you should watch that video also so that you know what you're in for. Um, things we had to do like adding a handle to the pantry door and we added a stopper to the bottom of the pantry door because on our trip out west at one point we came in after stopping and the pantry door was open. Uh, the weight of it causes it to swing open. The magnetic latch, it, latch is not perfect. And I have seen in Facebook groups, other people report the same thing happened to them and it's commonly discussed what to do about it. So that will be an important video to watch if you're considering getting this, just knowing what you're in for and what you're gonna have to do. Nothing that we've done was difficult. Um, most are quick, simple fixes. Um, so totally worth it. We love this model. So I'm going to convert this back just to show you how quick and easy it is. And while I do that, I'm going to say that it should be noted that all dinettes pretty much convert into a sleeper, but I can't speak to how easy other brands and models are to convert. So this is super easy. It's just uh, a little lever on the bottom that you have to switch. For now, you can pull up. Where's the lever? Oh, there. And it's good. That's it. That's all you have to do. Um, should show you. You've got storage under here. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's a great place for extra chairs that you don't use as often. Like we keep most of our chairs in the back storage, but I like a variety of chairs. We've got different types and stuff. So we have some in here too. We also keep a little electric heater in here and things like that. It's also a great place to store water. If you don't forget about it um, and leave it in there for the winter or anything. Um, but yeah, both of those have storage and flip this switch here. You've got lighting underneath, which is mostly decorative, you might think, but if you drop something, having that light down there helps a lot. It helps when you're cleaning under there just to see what's going on.
easy peasy. While I'm showing you that, I'll also show you this. I think you can see this. This is an extension on the island and it is very easy to put up and down as well. Okay, so reason number four is this pantry. Now we thought this was gonna be higher on our list of things we loved about this camper. It's one of the main reasons we chose this model. Um, when I saw it, I was just like, ah, I have to have that. We were so sick and tired of our big tote of snacks sitting out and being in the way all the time in our old camper. Uh, so a pantry that would fit that tote in it, that was deep enough and everything, was high on our list. Um, and this fit the bill. Ironically, we end up handling our snacks in a different way now because the TV's attached to it. And we thought it wasn't gonna be as big of a deal as it is, um, but it is quite annoying when somebody goes to get a snack when you're in the middle of watching something and they open this door. If you're sitting over there on the dinette and somebody opens this door, you can't see the TV anymore. Um, another thing that's kind of a, well, it is a con, is you see how hard this door was for me to open, even with this handle that we added? Um, I would call this a necessary modification if you're planning on getting this floor plan. Uh, we will go over this in our next video. Um, we're gonna do at least one or two videos on all the modifications we've done to it. We'll probably do one video on the necessary modifications, uh, or what we consider necessary, and then the other stuff we did just to suit us. Um, so if you want to be notified when that video posts, you need to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So anyway, there is another thing we had to do to it. On our trip out west, we made a stop. I think one of us came in here to use the bathroom and this door was halfway open, which is no good. Um, on Facebook, in groups, I've seen the same thing happen to other people being reported. So it's commonly discussed, what do you do about that? Some people use like a rubber door stopper. We use that on this end of it, but down here, I don't think you can see it. Yeah, you can. We attached a flip down door stop. It works perfectly. It should not go anywhere. Um, and I will try to insert a picture of that so you can see it a little better. Uh, and I just painted both these pieces to match. And I'll go over that in the video and show you what color I use that matches all this. It matches really well. Hopefully you can see that. So that just flips up when we're not traveling. Let's talk about the inside. I don't know if the microphone's picking that up, but you can probably hear it's dragging across the floor. We've not really had a problem with that yet, but other people have said that they do and it has damaged their floors. So if you go to get this model, before you take it home, have your dealer tighten up all the screws in the hinge over here back here if they tighten it up it can help with that another thing is just don't add much weight in these cabinets there's lots of storage space in here but don't fill them up with heavy stuff um, it's a good place for pillows and blankets instead we don't have pillows and blankets in it we've got DVDs and stuff because it is also perfect for those but I try to put all the heaviest stuff closest to the hinge which is what I recommend so let's finally look inside. You've got four shelves, great size. I can't remember the dimensions on this. That's something I should have had handy and I apologize. By the way, that reminds me, if you want to know a measurement for in here, say you're about to get it and you're trying to make plans before you actually have it in your driveway, Drop us a comment and I will try to get that measurement for you. 
So my next con with this pantry is the placement of the light. It's up top. It's hard for me to reach. I can reach it. I'm five foot three, but it's not fun or easy or convenient. Um, and another thing is, is that it's so far back that the light is blocked. You can't really see it, especially down here. Um, I'm using lights on my camera obviously that's helping a lot right now it's usually darker in here so we've added an LED light strip that has motion detected and for some reason it's, there we go it's not working very well right now you probably can't even see it that's another thing that I'm gonna go through in one of our videos about the modifications we've made I've actually added some lights in several places and I'll talk about all that too. So as you can see you've got this big drawer. I'll try to insert some better video so you can see down into it. That's big enough for an instant pot, crock pot, whatever. Um, it's also big enough for a cookie sheet. Not a huge cookie sheet but you can't use a huge cookie sheet in your oven anyway. So another thing we've done is we've added this net that comes across here that keeps everything from falling out. Uh, that's something else I'll talk about in one of our upcoming videos. And we'll have links to things like that that I talk about in those videos. We'll have those linked for you. Um, it came with a small net down here. I'm blocking it now. For a trash can in there now we don't want a trash can in here it's hard enough opening the door and blocking people from seeing the tv and stuff so we keep a trash can out there um, and we replaced it with these sterilite drawers that when need be we can just cart outside when we've got our kitchen set up outside so we've got all like a bunch of cooking stuff in there for that Okay, so let's start with the positive things. You've got four really large shelves. Now, I can't remember how deep these are or how wide. I do have measurements on those somewhere, and I will try to put those in the comments. And that reminds me, if you have a question about any of the measurements on this floor plan, ask me in the comments, and I will try to get you that measurement. I have a lot of it written down already, but right now we've got this sitting in our driveway. And we're planning on going camping this weekend. I will probably post this after that trip so I can throw in some footage um, if need be. So, four really big shelves and then you've got this huge drawer. This thing, I'll try to insert a picture of above so you can see it a little better. Um, if you're like me when I was shopping floor plans, I wanted to see every little detail. I wanted to know just how big this was. So I will show you a picture of it, probably up here, so you can see what all we've got in here. You can fit some cookie sheets, not huge ones, but you can't fit huge ones in your little camper stove anyway. It will fit an instant pot or a crock pot, plus some pots and pans. Um, while I'm talking about that, whatever won't fit in this drawer, the two drawers or two cabinets in the bunkhouse, they're really big. I will also show you that here in a bit. They will fit a lot of stuff. So that's nice and easy to open. Very pleased with that drawer. Uh, over here, obviously, you probably recognize these. They sell them everywhere. Those didn't come with the camper. We added those. We've got all our kitchen stuff that we might use outside in those so that when we're set up outside, Alan likes to do all the cooking outside, we can just take that out and set it out and then we're prepped out there. Um, this usually doesn't stay here. This is for when we're on the road. It's just a tension rod, keeps everything from coming out. This is something we added. It came with a similar net down at the bottom to hold a trash can in. Well, if you're like us, you probably don't want your trash can in the pantry and you have to open this door every time you just want to throw something away. If you've got people sitting over here watching TV, you don't want to be opening this to throw something away. So, 
we're pretty pleased with this change. Um, I will go over this in one of our future videos. Stuff like this, we're going to link all that for you so you know exactly what we got that works. And if it doesn't work that well, we'll talk about that in that video too. Now for a con, the placement of the light. It's, I'm five foot three. It's kind of difficult for me to reach. But beyond that, even if you're nice and tall, the way it's placed back in there, as you can see when you've got stuff up here, it blocks that light from shining down. Now, I've got camera lights pointed at me right now, so it's a lot brighter right here now, as you're seeing it, than it typically is. Uh, we do have an LED light strip that's motion activated that we installed. That's something else I'll talk about in one of the upcoming videos. That's one of those things that I pretty much consider necessary. Otherwise, it's pretty hard to see in here. Especially if you've got your blinds closed and you don't have all the lights on. Most of the time you won't. Um, there's another con. Nope, maybe not. Oh, snack organization. So, when we go camping, we like to take a lot of snacks. Or we used to. We're currently on diets. But most of the time, we bring a tote full of snacks. And one of the reasons we wanted this pantry was so that we could just bring that tote bag in and set it in here. We've actually redone how we do that. Usually, we'll have, I think, four smaller plastic totes lined up in here and I bring those in with a expandable tote it folds up flat and then so when it's not in use it slides in right next to the couch or right behind the couch works great that's something else I will link in one of our future videos because in that I'll show you what it looks like and what I'm talking about As that goes, we've also got another way we also handle snacks and things, um, and I'll go over that in that same video. So the other con to this are these hooks that come with it. They're pretty much useless for a lot of stuff, like I wanted to hang a broom here and a dustpan. The ends on these are so fat, you can't hang a broom or a dustpan on these. So I've got a command hook and a little actually use a hair tie to keep that over here and it's no big deal we had originally planned on putting pegboard all across here which would have been awesome but we can't add any extra weight to this it's already like that bad so all the stuff that I wanted to put on here would have made it way too heavy so don't plan on that so the next thing I'd like to point out about this floor model that we really like and something I looked for as I was shopping around for floor plans are these drawers that are right by the door. So during setup, there's lots of things that you need to quickly access. You don't want to have to come up all the way in the stairs, go all the way through the camper and some random cabinet or drawer. Uh, so, and drawers are better than cabinets for that stuff too. Um, so up here, you've got two nice little handy sized drawers just got different things in those with little organizers in them that helps same thing in here just a hodgepodge of miscellaneous stuff but down here I keep our cooking utensils this is because we like to do so much cooking outside so keeping them here allows us to just come up and grab really quick if need be versus coming up all the way to the camper and going around to the pantry opening that pantry door coming all the way back going back down the stairs so this is very very handy look for that type of thing no matter what model no matter what brand of camper you get look for that kind of thing because it's a I think it's a big deal We've also got this cabinet here. I don't know how well you can see that. So let's see if I can fix that for you.
It's got your fuse panel underneath it, so you don't have that whole door of space like it might look. You've got some cabinet space, and it goes all the way through up underneath the sink to the other side. So this is kind of like pass-through storage in the kitchen. So those are our favorite things about this floor plan, but they're not just ours. I asked in a Facebook group for Outback owners, for those of you who have the 291 UBH, what are your favorite things about it? And the consensus was the same across the board. They love that the bunk room has its own door, turning it into an actual room versus a piddly little curtain that you can hear right through. They love this big pass-through bathroom that you can actually move around in. And of course, they love the pantry. Um, as far as everything else, I'm gonna touch on every little thing that I can think of here in the walkthrough footage coming up. Um, we'll talk about the outside in that footage as well. But first, I just wanted to hit all of the main points of what set this floor plan apart from other models. If you have any questions about this floor plan or the Outbacks in general or even camping in general, do not hesitate to ask in the comments and I will do my best to get you an answer. If you have any suggestions for us, we would love to hear your feedback. So also don't hesitate to drop those in the comments either. Okay, so without further ado, here's the walkthrough of the interior and walk around of the exterior for the Keystone Outback Ultralight 291 UBH. Okay, let's have a look at the outside first. So over here you've got kind of a small pass-through storage and all the uh, storage doors have magnetic clasps so they're hands free. So that goes all the way through of course. As you can see though it's not huge. Let's go around to the front. Ours came with a power jack. I'm not sure if that is standard to be honest. Um, you've got a button up here for your lights. That's about all I know about <laughs> this area. It's not my arena. So back here. Got your other door to the other side. Water connection, black tank, gray tank. And on the gray tank, there is a utility shower in case you need to wash your hands. And that's rather handy. I think this is hot water. Again, the whole outside of the camper is not my arena. The, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, and I'm going to try to do this assuming that you're brand new to camping and you don't know anything. So if you do know, I'm sorry to give you information you already knew, but you can put your dump hose in here instead of having to put it in your storage, which is the name. You've got your power, your power, and back here is a nice little storage underneath the bunks where we keep all our chairs. It's kind of an odd shaped storage, but it works. The ladders are standard now on the 2021s and up. Uh, all there is is 2021 right now, but when they come out and rest, these should be standard on those. It comes with backup camera ready. And of course we've put a backup camera on ours because that's pretty much necessary. Can't show you that outdoor kitchen because my fiance has it locked, but I will try to insert a picture somewhere here. Yeah, outlets here, TV, and it tend to hook up there. Okay. So something I want to talk about are the stairs. These kind of solid step stairs by Lippert are so much better than the kind of pop down that are floating. Um, since these are hitting the ground, there's no give when you step onto them. Um, I hated 
our old camper, the stairs, how they would give it. I've got lower back issues and it would jar my back. And it was no fun. It was always a little disconcerting. That's not the word, but you know what I mean. These are not that heavy. They're easy enough for me to pull up and down um, over and over. Every time we stopped on our trip to get gas, I'd go to the bathroom and here and it would just be a quick up and down no problem so much better than the plug in of these doors I don't know what you call this feature to be honest but wherever you stop it it stops instead of swinging around this did not come on it we switch this out and we'll go over that in our next video. But another thing I love are the this big handle. It actually it gives you a lot of security, especially if you're just a little unsure going up and down the stairs. Let's take a look at the inside. So I've already covered all the drawers and the cabinets here. Over here, you've got your control panel and your thermostat. Um, this comes standard with it. Um, and then you've got a sliding barn door for the bathroom. Here's where we come to a con. The sliding doors are great uh, since they don't take up space, but you do want to make sure that the tracks are tightened so that they don't come off the tracks. Some people have reported when they're going down the road, the doors come off the tracks. Um, this past weekend while we were out, ours came off the track. Not during transit, just while we were staying in it for some reason. Um, it's a quick fix. It's no big deal. You just want to check on that every once in a while. So, probably the biggest con everybody's got about this door is that it locks from the outside not the inside where you want a bathroom door to lock. Um, if you are not level, that can cause this door to slide this way when you're on the toilet or standing there naked drying off and that's no good. So I have added magnets down here at the bottom and I'll go over that in our mods videos. Uh, Pretty well covered the bathroom, but I'll show you the cabinets. Those are about three inches deep, I think. I will try to list all the dimensions that I've got in the comments. Got this. Got a good size cabinet there. And a good size cabinet here. You don't have the whole length of the door. You just got this area here. This and this are things I've added. Don't expect those to come with it. I've added that, and of course I've added this. You look over here, I've added these towel holders, just use command strips, and I've added this. So none of this will come on. That's something I've added. That's something I've added. Um, the walls are textured, which I thought was gonna be a problem, but actually the bathroom line of command hooks works on these walls haven't had a problem so far now you can see the you've got a glass door you always want to make sure that's hooked during transit by the way i just put up the shower curtain um, for some added privacy so if somebody's in the shower someone else can still use the bathroom I don't think I talked about this earlier, but you've got two outlets there. So for the bedroom, you, um, I apologize for the sound. That's the second air conditioner. You want the second air conditioner. The fan on it runs all the time, no matter what. It's recirculating air. The sound is a little annoying unless you're asleep at night. It comes really in really handy then. But, so that's the sound you're hearing throughout this video. There wasn't much I could do about it because you cannot turn it off unless you pull the fuse. So you've got the sliding barn door here. 
Luckily, it locks on the inside of the bedroom. This one we haven't had much trouble with sliding around when we're not level, so I've not added anything extra to it. It's fine. I'm going to climb up on the bed. You've got overhead lights that will blind you. So I have added lights under each closet, which I'll also talk about in a mod video. You've got a little shelf here. It's perfect for these type size tubs, by the way. Um, on this side, you've got two USB plugs and two outlets. On that side, you only have two outlets. Up here, you've got pretty good size storage. This is the front of the camper though, so the front end is curving down, so that takes up some of this storage area. The closets are pretty good. As you can see, they don't go all the way down so that you have nice nightstand space. They're perfect for these kind of totes, which I love bringing our stuff in. Um, on this side, you've got a little bit of a carpeted area that you don't have on this side. On this side, you've got less space. But if you open that up, you've got access for a laundry chute. So if you add a laundry basket right down there in your pass-through storage, you can access that from here and just throw your dirty clothes right in. We don't really use that, but I can see how it'd be very handy for a lot of people. Let me see. I'll show you this. Let me take the camera. Something else we've added is the TV there. We keep it strapped in um, for travel, but usually it's angled in the corner over there. You've got hookup up there that comes ready. Um, and you've got, I don't know if you can see this, you got another thermostat for the air conditioner in the bedroom. That's, that's something we added. And obviously that's a command hook that we added. Now, some things I want to address. You'll notice I've added curtains. And you can probably also see that you can see through the black shades that come with this. Let me take you in here to the living room. Yeah, you can see through that and that's even with lots of light on in the cabin um, if I can see through it out there that means somebody standing out there can see through it at night when it's lit up in here and dark out there so I added curtains that's something to think about if you're considering one of these I'd be prepared to add curtains I will go over how I did that in one of our upcoming videos so, here. Over here, you got two USB plugs. And then over on the other side of the recliners, you got two outlets. Uh, something I didn't show you earlier. To bring up the extension on the island, it is lift take it down it will take two hands there's a it's not a button like a little lever kind of you press here and here and it drops you've got a carbon monoxide detector down there um, the guy that did our walkthrough at the dealership said you want to add your own however because that one's almost useless since it's so low carbon monoxide rises so over here you've got your sink and I purposely left it dirty so that you can see how dirty it gets. It's like because it's so flat and it's not apparently it's not real stainless and you see every little watermark. It's really hard to clean especially when you're just running off of water that's stored in your fresh water tanks. Um, Another thing, these blinds are made of what appears to be aluminum, so they'll bend 
and once they bend don't think you're gonna bend them back just right and it's gonna look awful so we are very careful with our blinds because once they get bent it will drive me crazy you've got two outlets up here and a light here and then you've also got a light on your fan this has cabinet space up here microwave it's a small microwave like most this is not going to come standard we added that and then you've got an eight cubic foot fridge and freezer Down here. Oh, there's still Sprite in them. Lots of Sprite. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five removable drawers to position however you want. Um, all this I added, of course. Don't expect that. For those who don't know, a Dometic refrigerator means that it will run on propane. So even while you're going down the road, your stuff stays cold. Okay, so you got oven, a three burner cooktop. All this is pretty standard, but again, in case you don't know, look how dirty it is because it's not easy to clean. Not even used it that much. Again, this is something I've added, don't expect that. You got storage up under here, underneath the sink. The sink takes up some of it, and it is pass through storage to the cabinet door across the back. Oh, your uh, faucet is a pull down and it's got a sprayer and everything built in right here and it will swivel all the way around. I'm not going to do it like that. It is not the best thing ever especially if you're comparing it to the quality of what you have at home but it's really nice to have i'll take it any day over what we had in our old camper look like up here real quick you've got a skylight that will crack open oh, before i go into the pantry you've got storage up here again I, like i told you earlier you don't want to put anything very heavy door slash entertainment center it'll make the door too heavy for the hinges whatever you do put in it put the heavier stuff over on this end down by the hinges take the, this out so you can kind of see better in there you've got about this much storage in here you've got your dvd player i think it's also a cd player am fm radio um it's enabled with bluetooth it's got a usb port I don't know what all it does. Something I should tell you about this setup. When you're watching a DVD, you want to either turn the volume on the TV to zero or the volume on the DVD player to zero. If you have the volume on both up, you'll hear both at the same, like not exactly the same time. It's not completely in sync and it just sounds weird. So if you're watching the TV, you can turn the DVD player off or turn the volume all the way down and vice versa. So down here, this is great storage for DVDs, which nobody uses at home anymore, but in a camper, it comes quite in handy because we never have much signal. We get a few channels at most places, but that's been about, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure I mentioned this earlier, but I also, in addition to painting this, I painted that and the magnet. Alright. Watching me struggle to turn this a little. See why I don't like it? Um, as I said earlier, great, great storage in here. Um, and this drawer is great, great storage. 
actually have room for cookie sheets and pans. Um, and again, as a reminder, this light, I've added. Um, if you're wondering, yeah, this is great, but what do you do to keep everything from falling? We've got this net. It stretches across on some little cup hooks that we added. And we'll go into more detail about that in a future video. Um, this is something we've added. Obviously, I said earlier that's something we added. I don't know if I've talked about these hooks before. Don't plan on them being much use. Like, I'll show you. You can't get a broom on it. It's too fat. Well, you kind of can. But then it wants to stand out like that. So you might plan on adding your own hooks or just some command hooks. talk about the recliners yet. So let's talk about those. They don't come looking like this. These are covers I put on them because our husky climbs all over everything. She likes to scratch things too. So I had to do some kind of protective measures on that. There's just a little handle here. And it will go back. So these are very comfy. You got your cup holders. These are removable, so you can take them out and wash them. And then you've got a nice size cubby down in here for your remotes. You got your TV remote, and then a separate remote to your DVD player, CD player, stereo. And then there's a little section back here that I find handy. It's a good place to stick your remote all the time. In case you're wondering. That's something I've added. It doesn't come with this. Okay, so now let's get a, a look at your bumps. Excuse all the blankets. We haven't made this up or anything, and we just got back from a camping trip. So. And you do have a light on each level and a outlet for your air conditioner and then down here by the ladder you've got a, a vent for your heat too you got a nice window oh there's our neighbor don't want to interrupt his privacy but you, you've got this nice big window to let in light downward into the bunks and you do have a handle for when you're having to climb up here since the ladder's basically useless. And then, as I said earlier, you've got these nice cabinets. They're nice and deep. They're a good place for something like this that slides out. Oh, looky there. There's our husky. Well, there's her butt. Um, I've added... Motion detecting lights. This one didn't want to work. Thought I turned it on. That's very, very helpful, but not totally necessary. So, I think I said earlier, you can fit Instant Pot in there. You can fit Crock Pots, Air Fryers. It's great storage. What have I not talked about? Another thing I showed you earlier, but I wanted to give you a nice view from above are the size of your storage underneath your booths. Both booths have this. I prefer to keep my chairs in there. just feel like they're safer from bugs and stuff and storage out back where my fiance keeps his chairs and all our spares. Uh, another thing I want to show you is you've got a um, dog kennel up under your bed. This door opens. It also makes it easier if you want to shove something in there. If you're not using it as a dog kennel, like we don't. Your other option is 
so you can see you've got quite a bit of storage in here for that. Love that. You get the hinges. A lot of people have said they've had to replace the hinge on here um, with the piano hinge. We have not had that problem. One problem we did have, I'm glad I remember this because if you get this camper, the very first thing you want to do before you do anything else, as soon as you get it home, is you want to cut the corners off of this platform. They come nice and square and sharp and you will hit your leg on them like I did. It hurt really bad and it left an awful bruise and a scratch for like two weeks. So I had Alan just round those off with a jigsaw. You can use anything that'll cut basically. Um, and then I stapled this pipe insulation that I cut a slit in, wrapped it around here just for good measure because I did not want to have a repeat incident with that. Easy, easy. Oh, one thing I forgot to show you. You've got an outlet down there too. Two outlets. Forgot to talk about this. Got this nice huge skylight for added headroom. And then you've got a fan there to help clear out humidity in your bathroom. This is where we keep the trash cans during transit, so they're still sitting there. You've got a Dometic porcelain toilet. It's a huge upgrade to our old toilet since you've got the foot flush. One thing I want to note about the foot flush, you'll notice I've got a <laughs> suction cup there to help lift that lid. Um, you do not want to flush your toilet with the seat down. You want to do just this probably isn't going to work right now but you want to just do light pressure and let a little water flow out fill it up a little bit and then dump okay if you flush your toilet with that lid down it sprays water everywhere especially if you push down on the pedal too hard too fast you've got two floor vents in this unit one in front of the entertainment center, it's nice and out of the way. And then one in the bedroom. I've got it covered up by this rug. I recommend covering them up if you have animals or tracking in a lot of dirt and dust. Um, just to keep those clean. Um, don't leave them covered up if you're going to run the heat though, obviously. I forgot to mention, you've also got another two outlets there above your carbon monoxide detector. That also came with a little fire extinguisher. Sometimes I should mention, that did not, that's a command hook, and that's a command hook. Also, in case you saw this at some point, that does not come with it. That's something we added. This does come with it. I assume you already know that, but it, well, it rolls out across there to act as a drying mat or to extend your counter space if you're not using the sink. I wanted to show you what the picture looks like on the TV that comes with this, just for full measure here. I was impressed with it. This is a DVD. This is not um, coming through the antenna, but. It looks pretty good. And of course, right now you're getting a glare and everything that you, that your eyes won't get. But pretty good. So, there you have it. I hope you got something out of this video. And I'm assuming if you watched it all this way that you did. So, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up. If you want to be notified when I post the videos on all the mods and upgrades we've made so far, you will need to subscribe and click the notification bell as well. If you check out our channel, you'll see that we only have one other video so far, but more are coming, 
and you can hear more about those and the future of our channel in that intro video. Once again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to post those in the comments. And if you also have this camper, I'm sure people watching this would love to hear what you think about it also, so please let us know your opinion in the comments.